All right, in this project, this is actually an assignment. You are going to show off your Photoshop skills with layers by building something with layers, which is a sandwich. So let's explain this assignment to you so you can get it turned in today. First thing you need to do is you need to open up all of your images. In your Google Classroom, we have all the images that you'll need. You don't need to go into Google Images and go find your own because you've got what you need right here today. What you need to do is just open up each one of them. You'll click on it. You'll get the preview. Do a right click and save image as. Make sure you are saving it to your downloads and click save. I'm going to need to save each one of these. So again, you're going to open up each one, do a right click, save image as, and make sure it goes to your downloads. Now, I have actually saved the rest of them, so you don't have to watch me do all of them, but you will need to save each one of those images to your downloads. After that, you are going into Photoshop, and we're going to open up all those images. So you're in Photoshop. You can go to Open. I'm going to open up my plate first. There's my plate, and I just want to open up the rest of my images. So I can go to File, Open, Open My Bread. That's in its new tab. Go to File, Open again, and I'm just opening up each one. Let us... Tomato, bacon, and again, if you don't feel like working with bacon, you also have the option to add avocado, and you can certainly add avocado, avocado to your BLT also. But once you have all of your different images open and tabs right up here, you're ready to start doing your selections. So I'm going to open up my bread first. I'm going to use my quick selection tool. Again, if you've ever got it on this square looking selection tool, you can always do a right click and switch to quick selection tool. And with the quick selection tool, you're painting the inside of your image and Photoshop is looking for the edges. And with that nice white background, it doesn't have any trouble. You can check it with the Q, just press it once. Looks great. Press it again to turn it off, and I just want to copy that selection. So Control C to copy it, over to my plate, Control V to paste, Control T to transform so I can resize it and make sure it fits on my plate. Now I've got my layers starting right here, and this is important. Today we're going to actually label all of our layers. So you can double click in there to make this the plate layer. Same thing for our bread layer. And now I'm ready for my next layer. So I'm going to my lettuce, quick selection tool, again, paint the insides. If you check it with the Q, you can see what's selected and what's not. So I can see I still need to select over here, Q to get it off. And make sure I've got a good selection. Let me check it one more time. Control C to copy, Control V to paste, Control T to transform. name that layer right away. And I'm on to my next. There's my tomatoes. Quick selection. Control C to copy it. Control V to paste. Control T to transform. You'll get good at this. There's my bacon. Bacon might be a little bit trickier. That's a pretty good job. Check it. Yeah, it's actually really good. I could remember, zoom in there, turn it off, back on my quick select tool. I can make my brush smaller, hold alt to take away. I can get rid of that little section of white if I really want to. Zoom back out, control C, copy. Control V paste, and I don't know about you, but I always like a fair amount of bacon on my sandwich. I'm going to do another layer. I'm going to do Control V again, and now I've got two layers of bacon. So I can call this Bacon 1 and Bacon 2. The next thing I want my Avocado if you want it. I'm not going to do it as an example, but you could certainly do avocado as well. And then I need another piece of bread on top. So I already have that selection. Super easy. Control C copy and Control V paste. Control T to resize. There 
we are. I'm not quite done. I do want to show you a couple of things. First of all, it's important that you have everything labeled. It's also important to know which is on top of what. If you move one layer to the top, you can move that thing to the top. So again, if you want to see your lettuce on top of your bacon, you can do that. If you want to turn off any layers, you can turn off the layers and turn them back on by clicking that eyeball image. Before we're done though, I'm going to go underneath my bread layer and I'm going to add some mustard or ketchup or something like that. So again, if I want to work here, I am going to add a new layer. And so if I'm going to add a new layer, I can come right down here to the plus sign. This new layer is going to be my mustard layer. You can make it mustard or ketchup or mayonnaise or whatever you might want to do. But now on my mustard layer here, I'm going to go to my brush and I'm going to choose a color for my mustard. Get something like that. And now as I paint, I can paint with that heavy, thick line. And it looks really flat. It doesn't really look all that good. Um, but I can adjust that with my effects layer right down here. So if I am on that mustard layer and I go to effects, I can add that bevel and emboss, and it can add shadow and depth so that it really kind of looks a little bit more like the actual condiment that you're creating. Again, you can play with the size and the contours of that and click OK when you're done. So I've got a mustard layer. You can do some sort of condiment. I've got bread on top. Again, I can put that underneath so that it all gets built the right way. I can build it back up. The last thing we need to do is add a little bit of text. So I'm going to put the T for text tool. You can click up on top. You might have to change your font and your size. But I'm going to write the name of the restaurant. And I'm going to call this Sammy's Sandwiches. Okay. Again, you can highlight that. You can change the font or anything that you might want. I do want to change the color so it's not the same as that yellow background. Maybe kind of a blue looks good. And now again, I'm on that text layer. I can go to my effects panel again, and I can add some depth and shadow and drop layers and things like that to my text as well. If you want to add a drop shadow, you might want to put that in there, spread, distance from it. Again, you can play around with these and click OK when you're happy. Once you've got all of your layers labeled, you've got text on it, you've got your condiments, um, you are ready to save it so you can turn it in. And we are going to turn this in as an assignment. So you're coming up here to File. You need to go to Save As. You're going to make sure it's in the Photoshop format, and you're sending it to your downloads. It's OK here. It's a big file, but that's all right. And now you need to turn it in. So I'm going to go in again. This is the assignment that you'll need to click on to turn it in. As a teacher, I just need to click over to my demonstration. So when you click on your assignment, it'll look like this. You're going to add a file. It is a file on your computer, so click File with the paper clip. You're going to browse your computer. It should be in your downloads. And we are adding the PSD format so that I can see your layers um, and we can check on all of your work that you're doing in Photoshop. You'll click Open. You'll make sure that you see it first. And then once it's there, you can click Turn In and Turn In one more time. And then you're all done with this assignment. Nice work.